Margaret Power drives her car to LSU's campus nearly every day for school. She had no idea that this simple action could be detrimental to her health. The first time I had an asthma attack was at a soccer game. I was probably six or seven. It was a terrifying experience for Margaret. I was on the field and I was getting really tight and I couldn't breathe and I knew something was wrong, but I think I was like too shy at the time to like ask anyone. So I ended up just running off the field during the middle of the game to my parents on the sidelines. Margaret's parents rushed her to the doctor as soon as the soccer game was over. They diagnosed me like, you need to bring an inhaler with you all the time. Slawomir Lomniki believes Baton Rouge's high volume of traffic is the leading contributor to the city's high ozone concentration. When there is a car accident, vehicles sit in traffic for hours. The emissions of pollutants is infinity. You know, when you're not moving and standing, the per mile emission is infinity. Car emissions contain a species of particulates that can get into our lungs when we breathe. They are the same species responsible for the toxicity of cigarette smoke. So you can compare that when you inhale ambient air particulates, it's kind of like smoking cigarettes. Chronic exposure to these particulates is very dangerous. They make respiratory diseases like Margaret's asthma worse. We need to remember uh, that it's our future and our health and for our children uh, that's here is uh, at stake. These particulates affect children differently than adults because of drastic immaturities. Children are particularly at risk because their lungs are still developing. While children's lungs develop, exposure to these particulates can cause developmental changes. This means that exposed children are becoming prone to develop asthma in the future, just like Margaret. Reporting for Tiger TV, I am Brittany Lapasso.